What's going on everyone? This is Matt. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial, my first that I've tried in a while. Uh, today's tutorial will be on uh, depth of field effect. Basically, if you don't know what depth of field is, it uh, blurs around an object, so it makes that one object look like it's in focus more. It's used in photography a lot. But it's pretty simple if you want to use it in a montage or whatever. Uh, you can also use this technique to put text behind the guy if you want. So basically it looks like he's another part of the video and popping out. <coughs> but all you do, I just have a cinematic from a cinematic pack I got. Uh, I'll give credit to the maker of the cinematic in the description. But uh, all you do is just find a part in your cinematic where you want to where you want it to stay and then you right click go to time and freeze frame this just makes it a stable picture so it doesn't move alright and then you go uh, to make the actual blur effect you go to layer new adjustment layer <coughs> and get your pen tool and you want to make sure it's on full for this so you can see the actual p pictures but and then you just simply make sure your adjustment layer is clicked and then you just mask around the guy pretty I'm just doing this fast but when you guys do it make sure you do it very carefully and take your time it trust me it makes it look so much better um sorry if my mouse is a little jumpy I don't know what's wrong with it it like uh pretty much just bounces around on me <laughs> but yeah just nice and I'm not doing good at this at all so <laughs> Uh, that's basically it. You should end up with this. Nothing will change. <coughs> but now, on your adjustment layer, you go to click the arrow down, and you should see masks, and then click that too. And you want to click inverted. <coughs> so here, you want to type in Gaussian blur. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> but you just drop that on, and uh, well, let me resize this so I can see it. Okay. And you just turn that up to, I want to say, 5, I think I like. If you press Control, Shift, and H, that takes away your helper so you can actually see what's going on. And you can always adjust this blur to your liking. Some people like it really blurry. I like a nice simple thing. Uh, seven, 7 on a Gaussian blur looks pretty good. But if you see, I don't know if you can see it, but you see right there how it has a really jagged edge. And, uh... Oops. And like around just you'll get jagged edges if you do this. So what you do to fix that is go down to mask and then mask feather and turn that up uh six maybe. Just turn it up to whatever looks good and that looks pretty good to me. Alright, sorry about that guys. But yeah, that's basically your effect. Um I will do another one later. Thanks guys.